In this video, we'll, we'll see what to do when you have an object object displayed on your app and you actually want to display a specific parameter of this object and basically how to navigate an object. So here I've got two collections coming from uh, Zano. One is my tickets collection. So this one and one is my users. So let me show you them in Xano. For example, those are my tickets and you see I've got a user ID which is linked to users inside my app. So what I do is basically that I displayed my tickets, but inside them, I want to display the user that created the ticket. So I've done a lookup and let's redo this together. So I want WeWeb to give me the right user for this specific ticket. So what I will ask WeWeb is to do a lookup by looking up the value in my user underscore ID from my ticket into my users collection and indeed matching the ID parameter inside each user. So what it does is that it will scan every users in my user collection. And when the ID is equal to the user underscore ID from my ticket, it will stop and match, give me back the user. The thing is I get object dot object object. So this is basically the browser telling us JavaScript telling us I matched an object and you're asking me to display it, but I don't know what to display inside the object. So I would just display the, the type, which is object. So to display a specific key, because you see here we've indeed have the object, you can use the get key value formula. First you give it the object and then you give it the key to display. So here, for example, the email, and I get each of my users' email. Could be the name though, for example. So now I get the name. And there's even an easier way to do this is just using the JavaScript notation, because basically all formulas in WeWeb are also JavaScript. So in JavaScript, if you want to get a key, you can do dot, the name of the key. So here my key is called name, so I could dot name, but I could also do dot email. And if the key has special characters or spaces, you can also do brackets and the name of the key. And that works too. And that's how you navigate in an object. And of course, if you've got an object inside another object, you can also navigate by doing the get key value um, inside the nested object. So you can chain these formulas. And the same thing would be the same with arrays. So for example, let's say I want, for the sake of this example, to display only the first uh, user. So what you can do is ask WeWeb to use the index zero in the data. So like for example, data zero, so it's always the first user. But you can also use the notation yourself the JavaScript notation. So this is asking JavaScript use, please, the first in index. The second one is one, for example, so it's choice. And then you can chain it as well to the key. So like email or I don't know, name, for example. So basically these brackets notations are a way to navigate arrays and um, objects. So remember, for example, because most of the time users, it's happen when they're doing lookup, you look up on the value you want to match, then you give the arrays, the array of data you want to search into, then the key to search inside this array of data, and then you can do a get key value to get a specific value inside your object. And that's it.